Hey foodies, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to make some coconut shrimp with a nice pina colada dipping sauce. I'll be using 12 jumbo shrimp today. I've already washed and cleaned 11 of them. Um, I'll be seasoning them next and I've also butterfly them but I'll be showing you how I butterflied and got these nice and clean so I've also left the shell on the end of it which will be helpful to just in the whole frying process and so on so here is one you just need to cut on top of it like this but just don't cut it all the way through open it right up then you remove everything that needs to be removed the vein and so on then next you can wash this with some lemon and water or vinegar and water so now on to seasoning this you have to season this very well so here i'm using a, a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and a half teaspoon of black pepper salt onion powder garlic powder and chili powder here I'm going in with a teaspoon of olive oil also. You can use the oil of your choice. Then you just rub the seasoning all over this. And after you're finished, you can just rest this aside to marinate just a little. Then we're going to move on to making that sauce. So in my pot over low heat, I'm adding two tablespoons of crushed pineapple. Next, I'm going in with two tablespoons of coconut cream. And trust me guys, this sauce is everything. Trust me, try it out and you will see. Now here I'm just mixing everything together over the low heat. Then I'm going to add to this two teaspoons of brown sugar. You can adjust the sugar based on your liking or adjust the sugar according to your liking. So I'm going in with two teaspoons of brown sugar first. Then I'm just going to mix everything together. mix that sugar out well then next I'm going to add cornstarch slurry which is just a teaspoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of pineapple juice because we want this to be real nice pina colada so we're using pineapple juice instead of water for the cornstarch slurry so this is nice and thick right now so I'm going in with some more pineapple juice this is two tablespoons of the pineapple juice so I'm going to mix it together again. And of course, I'm going to be giving this a taste to see if it is according to my liking. I'm adding the rest of the pineapple juice in now. And I've also added a teaspoon more of granulated sugar. So you just want to mix this all together again and once the sugar has been dissolved and everything has come together you just turn your stove off this is a little warm so just leave it to cool down just a little before you add it to your blender so here i'm adding the sauce to the blender because i don't want it to be too chunky so i'm just going to blend it for about a minute So blend that right up and then you just pour that goodness in a little container and then you can just rest it in the fridge for it to be cool. This sauce guys, wow. Back to the shrimp, we're going to make the butter. So here I have two eggs and I'm adding a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. I'm adding, you need just about two, two tablespoons of flour to add to this and mix it well. Well, if you're only doing 12 jumbo shrimp, one egg would be enough. But after I ate this, I really went back and made more. So the two eggs was fine for me. But if you're only doing 12 jumbo shrimp, you can use one egg. So mix this out really well. So your butter is seasoned your shrimp is seasoned and that will be good enough 
so we have the batter we have the flour you need just a half cup of flour and I also have one and a half cups of coconut flakes unsweetened coconut flakes so this is what we'll do now we'll add the shrimp in the batter then we drain the excess we add it in the flour just a little just tap it then we cover this with the coconut flakes ensure that if you have any bare spots you go ahead and fill that all up or cover it all up just like this now if you're using the coconut flakes that are bigger then you will see them but mine is very very these are very fine coconut flakes which i don't mind the taste is everything you'll need two to three cups of oil for frying your oil should be really hot but then you should turn it down when you're ready to fry this to medium heat you don't want these to burn as you put them in you can deep fry these of course but if i was using a smaller pot or a more shallow pot then these would be deep frying but it's okay like this just add them in your pot then when it's time to turn them you turn them you can allow these to fry on one side for just about three minutes or until they're nice and golden brown you just flip them you can smell the coconut right now guys smelling really good so just allow these to fry really well then you turn them And for this guys you are bringing restaurant style home this was just the nicest thing I've ever eaten in a while and it's just a little fancy really nice so once these are nice and golden brown on both sides you know it's time for the, for you to remove them from your pot turn your stove off and ensure that you place these on a rack then place the rack on a container because you just want these to drain nicely you don't need to put these on napkins nice and look at these guys nicely drained looking good and they tasted even better lovely yummy 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 of course I served this with the nice chilled pina colada sauce the sauce guys mm -mm -mm. lovely this is the end product let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this dish if this is something that you'd really try and if you want if you try this recipe let me know how it turns out for you of course if you like the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share the video subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on visit my website at romaskitchen.net until next video